Welcome back Galactic Citizens to a new episode of Star Wars Explained. Today we are going to talk about how Tarkin almost killed Vader on Chandra's Folly and why hunting contest where Darth Vader almost lost his life happened in first place. This is Grand Moff Tarkin, I wish you a lovely day and before we start today's topic make sure to subscribe to our channel for future Star Wars content. <laughs> Sometime after the occupation of Moncala and after Vader learned of Tarkin's past haunting, Vader came to Tarkin about the debt he owed him for going out of his way to capture Lee Char. To Tarkin's surprise, Vader asked him to hunt him, going as far as asking him to kill him if he had to. Tarkin was confused as to why, but after careful thoughts, he suspected that after killing most of the remaining Jedi, Vader had become eager to be challenged. Tarkin felt flattered for being chosen and brought together 19 of the galaxy's most professional hunters. The hunt took place on the planet Chandar's Folly and Tarkin immediately got to trying to take on the Dark Lord of the Sith. Being able to witness Vader's brutal abilities in the past, Tarkin outfitted his hunters with slug throwers and flame throwers to evade the possibility of Vader deflecting their shots. On the second day, they managed to track Vader to a copse of Turian trees, where four hunters attacked him with their flamethrowers. As Tarkin watched Vader be engulfed by the flames, he thought he saw a hint of fear in his body language. Vader's suspected fear was short-lived as he attacked the hunter's flamethrowers, incinerating the four. Through the following days, Tarkin saw that Vader was not hard to track, leaving signs everywhere he went. They learned repeatedly why, as on multiple occasions, Vader attacked them. Tarkin realized that while Vader had his lightsaber, he was unbeatable. Over the course of the next four days, he made attempts to seize Vader's weapon of fortune. After losing six men, one of Tarkin's hunters, 81, managed to snatch it out of Vader's hand as he was fighting using a grappling wire. After this success, Tarkin saw that not only was Vader adopting new tactics, he was more enraged. Tarkin knew that enraged prey was usually easier to destroy, but he was willing to admit that this didn't apply to Vader. Soon later, Vader forced down five of Tarkin's hunters as they fired on him, hitting his armor many times. Tarkin watched from the hill's top as Vader got close to the hunters and used the force to snap one of their necks instantly. The other hunters began running away and Vader force choked another one to death. Once knowing of the true capabilities Vader had with the force, Tarkin feared that the hunt would soon draw to a close. However, Tarkin realized that Vader was so drawn to getting back his lightsaber that as long as Tarkin's team hunted him, he hunted them. On the ninth day of the hunt, Tarkin was down to just seven hunters. One of his Chandra fan hunters, Sisian, spotted Vader northwest of their camp and the Yerga notified Tarkin of this. Tarkin got out his binoculars and spotted Vader on top of a peak, wearing the hide of a Valat, the planet's apex predator. Tarkin told Jill and 81 to take point and had Sisian and his grandfather hard here as the first line of defense with their long-range hearing. The group of them tracked Vader into a crystal ravine. As they walked through, hard here detected Vader's breathing, which was echoing and hard to track. Tarkin ordered his team to run and Vader attacked, force pushing Jill into the ravine wall and force choking hard here. Vader then leapt down and destroyed AT-1. Tarkin had his team run into the Stormlands, where it was open ground for them. They set up camp and Sisian listened out for Vader's breathing. However, Vader had deactivated his breathing apparatus to evade being tracked and he force-joked Sisian. Yerga attempted to attack Vader, but was taken by the neck and killed. 
The last two hunters opened fire and Vader used the force to retake his lightsaber, slicing through the pair of hunters immediately. Tarkin ran, but after realizing Vader would catch up with him eventually, he stopped and knelt down in surrender. Vader loomed over him, not realizing that as he was standing higher than Tarkin, he was more exposed to the lightning in the Stormlands. Without warning, Vader was struck by lightning and he fell to the ground. Tarkin got up from the ground and contacted the Carrion Spike to pick them up. Tarkin sat by Vader and waited for the Carrion Spike to arrive. The corvette approached them, being frequently struck by lightning due to its height in the Stormlands. As the Carrion Spike prepared to land, Tarkin assured Vader that he hoped he learned what he wanted to learn from the hunt. Tarkin continued to watch Vader as the Carrion Spike landed, and Vader's hand twitched, force choking Tarkin. Tarkin soon crawled out of the range of Vader's force abilities, and Vader continued to lay there. So, my fellow galactic citizens, with that being said, let me know what you think about the Tarkin Vader hunting game. I think this story explains why Vader was taking orders from Tarkin, and it's simple, he was afraid of him. If you like content for today, don't forget to click thumbs up for this video to support our channel. I thank you all for your kind support, and until next time, may the Force be with you, always.